All right, we have our next episode of Detour. It is with a dear friend of mine, DJ Vice. If you've gone to a club in the last 20 years, you've probably seen a DJ in Vegas, New York, Asia, Dubai. Super successful DJ, uh, putting out incredible music, and started running. And we had an amazing conversation about the balance of our lifestyles. We like to have fun. Uh, we also like to be healthy. We also like to look good in our Instagram pics. Yeah, that's what I said, Instagram pics. It's important, even as us old men want to look good in them. So we talked about what are the steps to get there. He had some amazing stories about his uh, experiences with DJ AM and incredible advice from LL Cool J. Stay tuned. Take a listen to today's episode. So we're here with a, a good friend of mine, Vice, that uh, we've known each other probably 20 years 20 at this years point. plus, yes. And I wanted to talk about something that actually I don't think a lot of people talk about is our crazy lifestyles. Um, we travel a lot. You mm -hmm. travel more than, more than I do. But it's eating out. It's drinking. It's all the stuff, all the worst things that you yep. can put your body through. And for doing it for 20 years, it all kind of adds up. And I was just trying to have a thought about like how uh, we were just talking about the 10-year challenge. And right. I was looking at everyone's picture. All of us look better today than we did 10 years ago. I, I hope so. Yeah, right. Which is it's crazy because you should look like you should look shittier. Yeah. <laughs> just, you know, like, like that high school reunion that everyone's scared to go to like, oh, I was going to be. Yeah. yeah, everyone's like, now overweight. You're like I'm ready. Yeah. And now <laughs> we, we all look good. And like. You know, we we have a similar bond in tequila and running. Yeah. And how do you like? At what point did you realize that like you're you were an unhealthy person? And then like, how did you change your lifestyle? Um, I I actually it's what's funny is I never thought I was unhealthy. Really? Because I Cause was you were just, skinnier. Well, no, no, I was big at one. I was big at one point. I hit two hundred ten pounds, but I never thought I was unhealthy because I was just so engaged in my career of like my DJing and I was like yeah and late nights and DJing going home so like pumped like yeah and I was like getting bigger and bigger and, and bigger. And you guys used to crush it on the late night eating. <laughs> oh dude if you're, if you're <laughs> LA, LA, LA you know about danger dogs outside the club you yeah. know, hot dogs you know bacon wrap yeah. and uh, I was with you know rest in peace DJ AM at his house and he's like bro I'm I'm definitely skinnier than you and I was like hell no no way and we just ate Damiano's which is like the late night uh, order spot Fairfax, yeah. you just crushed Damiano's and uh he, he weighed himself I weighed myself and I weighed more than AM and it was right after his surgery and I was like whoa and it was honestly like my awakening point where like I'm unhealthy like yeah. AM is actually skinnier than me and, I, and he was laughing his ass off and it, it makes me happy this day to see him like smiling like ah you're fat <laughs> and I was actually a turning point where I was like Dude, yes, we're both loving what we're doing. We're out DJing, but it's like, but you're deteriorating. You're like, you're going to shit. Yeah. You're, you're not good. And, I, and How old were you then? I was probably 20, 24, 25. That's just, you're pretty young. Yeah, maybe 25, something like that. Yeah. And I was like 210 on the scale. Wow. And I'm 162 right now. That's crazy. Which is insane. Yeah. yeah. And I think the, you know, when I was, I, I've been a vegetarian my whole life and I always thought I was healthy. Yeah. That's, that's healthy. Yeah. That's what you think. And I was eating Taco Bell and drinking <laughs> all the time. And then I look at pictures of myself 10 years ago and I was fat, chubby, like definitely overweight. And um, I'm, I'm still not anywhere I would like to be from a health perspective. But I think people think being healthy is like this crazy thing. Cause like when you listen to the podcast, mm -hmm. we hear about these books, you gotta wake up at 4 a.m. Right. You know, you gotta like- Count your macros. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> I don't even know how to count a macro. What is a macro? I don't even know what yeah. macro is either. But like, it's just, there's this notion that like living a healthy lifestyle is impossible. It's, yeah. And, and it's and not fun. It's, yeah, right, totally. And, and w there's so many little simple things that I picked up along this way. Cause I never went on a diet. I never yeah. went on like a fast. I never went like, I didn't do those things. I just thought, well, if I take little small steps to get to, uh, to, get to where I want to be, I, I, it'll work. I, I just made it up in my own brain. And I would ask people little things. And, and for instance, one time I asked LL Cool J. I was like 200 pounds still. Like, and, I was like, <laughs> and he was at a DJ meeting. And I was like, dude, uh, he's talking about his new music. I'm like, can you give me a diet tip? And he's like, oh, uh, yeah, uh, all right. <laughs> take the top bread off of your burger every time you eat a burger. And I was like, all right. And he goes, don't ever eat the bread at dinner when they bring it out before the meal. And I was like, all right, cool. 
and I literally walked away. This, that was, this is 15 years ago and I've never done that. I always take the top bread off of a sandwich. I never eat the bread when it, I, I try to never eat the bread when it comes out. Yeah. Like, but like little things like that. I was it's like, crazy how those little steps make all the difference. Small little steps. Like I did, like I never want, I never eat dessert at restaurants anymore. Wow. Because it's just another thing that yeah. I have to, it's like you're fighting a war. I used There's to like drink battles. two Snapples every meal. That's I used good. to drink two Snapples every meal. And then I was like, all right, let me cut it down to just one Snapple. Yeah. And then that one Snapple cut down and I, I never used to drink water. I was like, all right, let me just cut half the Snapple, pour it out and pour water in the other half. Yeah. And then I was like, it, but that's like six months, eight months, 12, like it just little by little. It was never like cold turkey. And I think that's a big move for a lot of people. It's so hard to make change. Yeah. What about traveling? How do you do with traveling? Because I mean, a lot of people that I know that listen to the stuff that I do are entrepreneurs, people on the go. And yeah. it's so hard to do it when you're traveling. I bet you people would like laugh their ass off if they shook my DJ bag upside down and saw like granola bars pop out or my own tea bag or something like that. Like yeah. there's so many little things that I'll just keep in my bag that I just try to munch on on airplanes instead of like eating crap airplane yeah. food or eating crap like airport food oh airport food's the worst except in la they have earth bar now and right like right that. there's some little hot spots yeah. but i but i try like and once again like i go back to the fact of like i'm never strict on myself because if you watch my ig stories i'll be eating chick-fil-a at like 8 a.m in the morning like scarfing it down but that's one time out of like maybe the month where i just broke and i'll have something really crappy and and eat whatever i want and extra sauce but a lot of the other times i'm just trying to snack on whatever i have and i bring pack my own shit yeah, I think like that packing your own food is so so valuable. So valuable. Cuz yes. eating eating when you're traveling is just the hardest thing for me cuz like obviously I want to indulge. Yeah. And it's just the options are limited when you travel and I think people people who work really hard often look unhealthy. Yes, totally. And not being embarrassed to get a workout in wherever you're at. So this is like one time I do a mile a day challenge where I run minimum a mile a day and I'm over 400 days in. And one day I was traveling and I was in Miami and I was like, dude, I'm not going to be able to get my run in. Uh, well, I got to the airport. I was like, when I land, I have to do this, this, this. I'm, dude, I'm for sure not going to get my run in. But I have about 30 minutes before we board this plane. And I ran across the Miami airport half a mile inside the terminal after already through security and turned around and ran back through it. <laughs> and I didn't care. I was like, fuck it. Yeah. Like, I'm going to get my mile in. And I looked and I did my watch. And I'm like, it looks like I'm running to my gate for a flight. Like, yeah. There's always people running in the airport. Yeah. And I came back and I looked and I have it on the map. It's like th through the terminal, I did a mile back and forth. That's crazy. And then what about in terms of like, how did you get in into running? Like, I mean, I, I know you mentioned it. You my wife got me like the open to the idea. And then now it's definitely my meditation of just running every day. And whether it's a long run or a short run, I always run with no music. And it's that time that I clear my head. And I have the best ideas. A lot of them are terrible. <laughs> and I, maybe one or two of them are good every run. But I mean, I write those down after my run because that's like such a clear, get everything out of your system. You sweat it out, you, you spit it out, you know, and then you finally, your brain starts functioning. And I feel like in a different wavelength and I start thinking of different ideas and I write them down when I'm out of that run. And, and why do you think that like, as we got older, like we we started taking care of our health. Is it like the like fear of like social media? We started seeing everybody else on and figuring out that's this it, isn't straight it? up. I start you start seeing like other people and how they're working out and you and flat tummy tees and all this yeah. crap and you're like it's just so in your face of like that like to take care of yourself and also hearing about like the unfortunate people that have passed away from like unhealthy lifestyles yeah. like seeing that so much in your face it's like i don't want to be that that number of yeah. like i want to drink i want to enjoy it but i still want to balance it out and yeah. and i feel that really social media because i didn't watch news growing up and yeah. cnn and all that shit like but yeah. now i follow cnn yeah. and i follow like all these different news reports so i think just really with having that in your hand every day and and being able to access any information that's there now, yeah. I didn't, I didn't think about that social media is probably the reason why we're all healthier. S straight up. Yeah. Our pictures, yeah. Yeah, because yeah. you don't want to look fat in your pictures. Yeah, you don't want to look fat in your pictures, <laughs> yeah. Dude, yeah. That's enough for me. And, and I, I'm pretty sure a lot of guys, we don't use those apps that some of the Instagram models are using <laughs> to like tone up their faces. And and if everything. I knew how to do it, I would. <laughs> yeah. That's a whole other job, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm a, but it is true, man, it is, yeah. and and. In, in, in our job, like whether you're a CEO of a company, you know, let's say you're going to be on the cover of Wired magazine. 
you want to look presentable, right? Yeah. And the same way if I'm on the cover of DJ Times, I want to look presentable. I want to be that. I want to be in inspiring to someone else to be like, dang, like that guy DJed. I saw his Instagram last night. He was definitely chugging a bottle of tequila. And then at, that was at 2 a.m. His flight was at 6 a.m. And now it's 10 a.m. and he's in L.A. and he's running. Yeah. Like that's inspiring, dude, because I'm the same guy that's drinking at the club, but I landed and I went on a run. That's amazing. What's a good alcohol tip for uh, our lifestyle? Dude. Don't mix. Yeah. I, why did I mix so many drinks of like, uh, I'll have some tequila shots. Who? Oh, what is that, a vodka shot? Yeah, I'll take a vodka shot with yeah. you. And then someone comes over and says, like, come on, let's drink some champagne. I yeah. bought a bottle. And you're like, all right, cool. Let me. And yeah. it's like, dude, just stick to one drink and yeah. don't mix it. Yeah. Like, I just drink tequila straight yeah. and that's and, it. And, you, and obviously, mixers are terrible. Terrible. All, I you work don't in nightclubs. Credit. Don't drink that pineapple juice. Don't drink the cranberry juice. Yeah. Just throw all that out, dude. Like, I fucking hate like the mixologist cocktails. Um, just sugar. Yeah, just sugar. Like, exactly. Like, Let's just get, to, you're, you're, you're diffusing what the real taste of the drink should taste like. If you like vodka, just drink it on the rocks. Throw some ice in the Tito's that you're drinking or whatever it may be, or in your tequila and just drink straight. What's a good uh, kind of takeaway for uh, someone that's unhealthy, works a lot, travels a lot, where should they start? Dude, start with one step. Not yeah. like taking, I, I, I really, like I said, kind of going backwards and saying like, well, I drink two snapples a day and I'm gonna drop one and I'm gonna still only drink one. It's like, it's not trying to be like, I'm never gonna do this again. It's, so when you go to the workout, it's like, all right. I, for instance, I run a mile a day. When I, before that, I was like, I'm only gonna run a quarter mile first. And then yeah. I'm gonna go like, yeah. it was super baby steps. Yeah. And I'm not looking for a result right away. I'm just looking for the fact that I know I accomplished at least a little of something every day. Especially the LL Cool J tip was actually Dude, amazing. It's so amazing. Yeah. Just take the top bun off of your bread yeah. and throw it out. Yeah. That's so good. And then, yeah, it's funny because at Chick-fil-A or any, I'm super into Chick-fil-A. I don't know why it's so bombs. Yeah. Um, but, uh, or in and out or whatever. Like, I don't, I don't eat red meat, but like, I throw the top bun off always. Yeah. And it's like, you, you always go back, you're like, oh shit, like I always feel good. At least I got rid of half of those carbs on that thing. Yeah. Amazing. Such a simple tip. Thank you, LL. <laughs> <laughs> on that note. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Bam. Bam. LL Cool J giving the, the health tips. Yes. The so we're fueled by tequila on this next run. Yes. <laughs> yes, sir. Thank you.